Hello, welcome to Horo Solve this very nice exponential equation. 3 to the power x plus 20 is equal to square root of 3 to the power x plus 4. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. 3 to the power x plus 20 is equal to by using this power rule a to the power m plus n is equal to a to the power m times a to the power n. This expression will become square root of 3 to the power x times square root of 3 to the power 4. Next, 3 to the power x plus 20 is equal to this uh, square root of 3 can be written as uh, 3 to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power this power x times this uh, square root of 3 can be written as uh, 3 to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power this power 4. Next, 3 to the power x plus 20 is equal to by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. This is 3 to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power x will become 3 to the power x over 2 times this 2 1 time and 2 2 times 4. So, here we are left with 3 squared. Next, 3 to the power x plus 20 is equal to 3 to the power x over 2 times 3 squared is 9. Now, we suppose that uh, this uh, 3 to the power x over 2 is equal to m. That 3 to the power x over 2 is equal to m. And if we square both sides of this equation, this implies that uh, 3 to the power x is equal to m squared. So, this equation will become m squared plus 20 is equal to 9 times m. Now, we move this 9m to the left hand side, then this equation will become m squared minus 9 times m plus 20 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. So, we solve it by factorization. We write this m squared, m squared and we split this uh, negative 9 m as, we split this negative 9 m as negative 4 times m minus 5 times m plus this 20 is equal to 0. From these two terms, uh, we can factor out m. m as common factor and in bracket left m minus 4. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out negative 5 negative 5 as common factor and in bracket left m minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression m minus 4, this expression m minus 4 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 4 and in bracket left this m and this negative 5 in bracket left m minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression m minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression m minus 5 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m is equal to 4 and from this equation we get the value of m is equal to 5. Now, recall that we have supposed, we have supposed that 3 to the power x over 2 is equal to m. We have supposed that 3 to the power x over 2 is equal to m. First, in this equation, we put this value of m4, 
then this equation will become c to the power x over 2 is equal to 4. Now, from here we square both sides of this equation. So, this square will be cancelled out with this 2 and at left hand side we are left with 3 to the power x is equal to 4 squared and from here we take a log of both sides log of 3 to the power x is equal to log of 4 squared. Now, by using this log property log of a to the power m is equal to m times log of a. This uh, log of 3 to the power x will become x times log of 3 is equal to this uh, log of 4 squared will become 2 times log of 4. Now, from here we divide both sides of this equation log of 3. At right hand side we divide by log of 3. So, this log of 3 will be cancelled out with this log of 3 and x is equal to this uh, 2 times log of 4 over log of 3 will become 2 times log of 4 divided by log of 3. Next x is equal to 2 times by using this log property log of a over log of b is equal to log to the base b of a. This log of 4 over log of 3 will become log to the base 3 of 4. This is the first value of x, this is the first solution of this equation. Now, to find the second solution, in this equation we put the value of m 5, then this equation will become 3 to the power x over 2 is equal to 5 and from here we take square of both sides of this equation. This square will be cancelled out with this square. The at left hand side we are left with 3 to the power x is equal to 5 squared and from here we take log of both sides log of 3 to the power x is equal to log of 5 squared and by using this property this log of 3 to the power x will become x times log of 3 is equal to this will become 2 times log of 5 and from here we divide both sides of this equation by log of 3. So, this log of 3 will be cancelled out with this log of 3 and at left hand side we are left with x is equal to 2 times log of 5 divided by log of 3. Next x is equal to by using this log property this will become 2 times log base 3 of 5. This is the second value of x this is the second solution of this equation. Now, let us verify these values of x by putting these values in the original equation. The original equation is 3 to the power x plus 20 is equal to square root of 3 to the power x plus 4. First, in this equation, we replace this x with this value 2 times log base 3 of 4. Then, this equation will become 3 to the power 2 times log base 3 of 4 plus 20 is equal to square root of 3 to the power in place of this x we write 2 times log base 3 of 4 plus this 4 
Now this uh, 3 to the power 2 times log base 3 of 4 can be written as uh, 3 to the power log base 3 of 4 and whole to the power 2 plus 20 is equal to this expression will become square root of 3 to the power 2 times log base 3 of 4 times square root of 3 to the power 4. Next 3 to the power log base 3 of 4 whole squared plus 20 is equal to this square root of 3 can be written as 3 to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power this power 2 times log base 3 of 4 times this square root of 3 can be written as 3 to the power 1 over 2 whole to the power 4. Next 3 to the power log base 3 of 4 whole to the power 2 plus 20 is equal to this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and here we are left with 3 to the power log base 3 of 4 times 2 1 time and 2 2 times 4. So, here we are left with 3 squared. Now, by using this log property b to the power log base b of a is equal to a. This is 3 to the power log base 3 of 4 is equal to 4 and this 3 to the power log base 3 of 4 is equal to 4. So, this expression will become 4 squared plus 20 is equal to this expression will become 4 times this 3 squared is 9 and 4 squared is 16 plus 20 is equal to 36 and 16 plus 20 is 36 is equal to 36. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, it is proved that the value of x 2 times the log base 3 of 4 is a valid solution. And if we verify this value of x in the same way, this is also a valid solution.